Okay, I'm very excited because I just got access to Diffusion and I've, as dumb as it sounds, I've been really waiting for this since I, I heard it was coming out. Uh, so let's let's test it for the first time. It is supposedly really fast, although I haven't actually watched any of the Google I.O. Okay, here we are. Hopefully that works. So I hide the control. Hide loading me. Okay, that's good. All right. So we are going to test Gemini Diffusion, the performance of Gemini 3.0 flash light at five times the speed. So actually, let's first let's first be let's let's be good little customers and let's click the button to provide. So I'm gonna click calendar. Make a calendar. Whoa! Holy shit! I didn't even read the prompt yet. Okay, make a calendar app, make the design and visually appealing with beautiful colors, background, add an events feature each day. When I click on it, the calendar. Holy cow, did it? No, it did not just make them. No, it didn't. Oh my God. Oh, interesting. It tells you the number of tokens you use. Tokens are the units of text produced by Gemini. Okay, that's fair. Three seconds. Okay, let's 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 give it something different. So what what did we want recently? Um, so that's a calendar app. That's fine. We need something that has like generic, that's very generic. So what if we make me a web? Actually, we need a GitHub token for that. I was gonna say make a web interface where you can browse uh, software projects on GitHub, but then it would need the token. Potentially, you might not be able to do that. Um. What webinar to do? Make me a web interface that provides a an interactive plot to explore performance monitoring data for C for CPU. You can make up the data for the example. I'd like to filter it. I'd like to filter it and update the plot based on, actually data for CPU. The CPU data should have PIDs, command names, and let's do total time waiting in the scheduler view and total time execute. You can make up the data, for example, I like to filter an update plot based on the command selected. And if you can make it possible, select different plot types. Please make the interface visually appealing and modern. No. <laughs> no. Oh my God, it just made that. Okay, I'm out of a job. I just, but why is, okay, let, let's, let's be critical now. Um, can you please make the space for the plot uh, not wider, taller? It is a bit squished. Should be easy to do. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try. Um okay, this is impressive because I would spend a lot of time making web interfaces and clearly this is much easier. Let's go back. Is this the playground? Okay, so that was oh it's more things. Okay, should we do toast or we do fractal? Um I, I think I have to choose toast. There's no other way. Explain the merits of toast. Wait, I didn't even read the questions. <laughs> oh, is that Chinese? Wait, what's going on? Oh, oh, okay. Did I, did it ask it about the style of Kegel? Then translate the essay into 10 other languages. Well, I guess the, uh, the internet translation problem is solved. That was a lot of tokens. I hope, I hope my trial is not like, it's, I'm probably going to run all these test things and it's going to be like, you don't have these. Okay, let's do uh, Mastering. Yeah, let's do Mastering. I want to do this. 
Oh, oh I saw. Welcome, intrepid explorer. I, I don't talk to the AI like that. Uh, your mission is to navigate through a series of interconnected mathematical problems uncovered in mystery, kind of discover, calculate the value, define function. Okay, so this, I think it's fair to say that this has nine parts. And it would take a human, specifically this human, very long time to do this. Oh my God. The question is though, how to validate it? I don't know. Please validate and check your work. <laughs> how would I validate that? We're in the final answer. The answer is Saturn. Should have, I should have known. Okay, back to the playground. Oh, fractal. Penguin astronaut. Mm. Pen penguin astronaut. Write a story about a penguin astronaut. Not as interesting. We already knew they can do stories and poetry. We don't want them to do the creative stuff. We want them to be useful. So actually I'm gonna ask now um, because I think web interfaces and I guess solving problems are more interesting. Please make me a penguin astronaut, astronaut entirely in CSS. I want it to be cute and animated and I want the background to be in the Arctic and with mountains and have it actively snowing. <laughs> ah did I did I find something that you can't do? <laughs> Complex shapes and details. Dynamic snow. Therefore, getting from humans can do this. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You are allowed. I don't know if it's telling me this because it doesn't, because it thinks I only want CSS. You're allowed to use JavaScript, SVG, and other web browser technologies. To be fair though, this is something that humans do a lot and it is sort of an art because it does take a long time. Oh, Gemini, I mean, that's 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 pretty bad. What is this? I think that looks pretty bad. <laughs> okay. All right, so I, I do think this is very cool. I think this is, uh, obviously I'm already convinced actually like with Flash and Gemini Pro that it helps a lot with coding. I'm very, imp I really like this new, I, I think others have seen, oh, it's, it is snowing. I didn't see that before. I think others have seen this interface before. I hadn't actually seen it with where the code, the code and then like some actual rendering of it. That's pretty cool. I'm impressed by, the web interfaces with data. I think we can actually use that to make nice displays for our data. Not impressed by not being able to answer this question because that is something that humans can do. So we're not quite there yet. And of course the math is just unbelievable and like everything else. Let's see what else. And I, I actually like the stories because sometimes I just want to know a story. Let's do um, K, K means. Ooh, it's a visualization. Oh, this is going to be cool. Run custom. Please add some data points. Am I not seeing a, well, let me move this guy. Oh yes, add random data. More data. Okay, run faster. Okay, let's do, the data is like not really that interesting though. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay. Ooh. okay, now change the interface so the data generation is not so random. I'd like it to look like cellular expression too. Okay, more. <laughs> well, that... 
now make an interface that uses, well, what's that called? Um, da, da, da. Biology, community, clustering. What is that stupid thing called? Oh, T T S N E. Yeah, T S N E. Now we're making an interface that uses T S N E to interactively cluster data. This should be a little harder. Oh, I think something's broken. Okay, I'm not sure it's actually working correctly. It looked, oh, this is really interesting. Can I edit it? No, I can't edit it. That's interesting. Still kind of like this edit. Okay, maybe, maybe just one more. Maybe just one more. Drawing. Yeah, we didn't do drawing. Make me a drawing. Oh, that's kind of, well, yeah. That is what I expected. Vanessa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, math journey. Okay, this is the last one, I promise. Planet Tic Tac Toe. Oh, cool. Planet Saturn. Oh, it's playing with me. Mm. Okay, I forget. Tic Tac Toe, you have to get them in a row. No. Oh no, I'm on the defense. Oh no. What's it gonna do? If I go. Ah. I should put my microphone. I won. I won. Okay. I think that's it. Um if you haven't signed up for diffusion, you definitely should, because this is like the coolest thing since slice. I'm not gonna say slice bread. Slice bread just isn't that cool. Slice bread is actually usually fairly disappointing. This is the coolest thing. Since what's really cool? Hmm. Probably just electric cars. Electric cars are pretty cool. Okay, that is all I got. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. When I don't, doesn't work. That's on my clearance. Bye. <laughs>